So Jazz and Tay had another date day. Yesterday, Tay posted a photo of her score against Jazz. Now you guys know if she takes Tay out on a date that day, then that night she has to take India out on a date. So it appears that she was with Amar and his girl last night and they did a double date. Let's speak about this topic that I previously spoke on in my last video with the girl that accused Deshay of taking advantage of her. And then yesterday she brought Jay Slutty into the equation and she also stated that Flo and Jazz was there to witness. And, and I didn't expose Jay Slutty because I didn't want to ruin what you know, perfect laughs and loaded and badass flow got like, I didn't want to like put them into any mess, but it's like now I kind of got to clear my name up because the shade is saying I put false accusations on people before. And I seen that the shade was with perfect laughs in the club or something. So I don't know if she told him, I don't know if Flo, ooh, excuse me. I don't know if Flo told him because after the situation happened, Flo had called me. I don't know if Flo told him or I don't know if Jay Slade told him. So now Jazz did respond to all this on her Twitter. She went on to state, I have nothing to do with nothing. Leave me out of the BS and drama. Well, then Jay Slutty goes on to respond as well. He wrote out a whole statement that said, a girl who has consistently been exposing and accusing multiple influencers of mistreating her, mental abuse and SA has recently came forward to falsely accuse me of are. I want to be clear when I say this to all of my supporters, I did nothing wrong and I have proof that will show my innocence. I would laugh and giggle sometimes when I would hear about women falsely accusing famous men for their money and fame and now that it's happening to me think about how there really should be a law to arrest women who falsely accuse men for attention money and fame because it really does hurt the voices of the real victims who are really experiencing this it's really not fair because what this girl is doing now is making it harder for women to be taken serious when this does happen to a lot of them i want to give a message to my supporters i have never had and never Never will have to are or ever even had to do nothing of that sort of stuff to have ex with girls. I'm basically defending myself because I never thought something like this would happen to me. I have a daughter and a sis. What do I look like doing that? If somebody did do anything to that girl, I suggest she go to the proper authorities and file charges and get justice for yourself. And if you want to waste my money and go to court, do it. You know, I know you won't win because I did nothing wrong, but I would like to take the focus off of her because she wants clout and does not deserve the attention y'all giving her and bring awareness to women who are actually being as aid and encourage them to be strong enough to go to the police there are plenty of places that you can go if you feel like someone has forced themselves onto you you're not alone and there are places for women who actually experience sa or r i'm posting proof of her trying to get money out of me and use me for clout if you can't see that this girl who has been targeting multiple influencers is making up stories to get her followers up, then that's on you. I'm standing my ground and I'll leave this proof for y'all to see so everyone can be aware that she might do it to you next because everybody with a following did something to this girl at this point. Thank you for all your support and please let's stop empowering people who try to bring down others so they can get money and fame. Don't believe everything you hear. I love y'all. JS. Now then he posts the conversation that he had with Ari the day that he sent her the money for the Versace slides. I'm focused on, I'm focused on the shit you got going on. I feel like we just probably started off on the wrong foot. Like, we def I definitely want to be like cool to you. I don't want this to like make us not be able to like be cool with each other or be around each other or even like collab or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to have no bad blow with you. Yeah, it's some shit that didn't happen. Yeah. That's way cheaper than damn near five hundred dollars for some old ass slide. All right. 
right, that's cool, then. Just uh, send me your uh, cash app so I can uh, send it to me. Okay, but I'm going to send you her right. cash app because I don't have cash app. I have Bill. Stop nagging at me about this, nagging at me about this shit. All right, bet I got you. I'm gonna do it right okay, now, so bet. just send it right now. Okay, bet. Be safe. Thank you, and thanks for understanding. I'm sorry. Okay, vice versa. Okay, bet. Right. So he posts the screenshots of the five hundred and fifty dollars that he sent her. He says, "Like I never a day in my life been in no ish like this." So then Ari actually comes back and responds to what Jay Slutty posted. It'd be so lame, bro, y'all. So I don't know why Jay Slutty trying to post that conversation. Like that wasn't after he sent the five hundred dollars. You sent five hundred dollars for the shoes, bro. Like why would you send? Why would you come about a five hundred dollars and give somebody five hundred dollars if you didn't try to? Um, you sent this all to me. That's why you sent me the five hundred and you was trying to pay me two thousand. You like be for real. And I told you no. Why would I dry text you and tell me and tell you to send me two thousand? If I was that desperate over some money, don't you think I would have exposed you? Come on now, that happened months ago, and it happened the same day I met you. So don't try to get up on the internet and try to make it seem like you didn't try to do that. And you did. If I wanted to expose you, I could have been exposed you, or if it was for the money, I could have been said something. Like, come on now, I'm only saying something because somebody told Frost that I try to put allegations on somebody before and i never did then she says i can post the whole thread stop lying love i don't freak on in words for money and yes you did not arm me but you tried and when i was trying to throw up in the sink when i told you no you tried to bribe me with 2k on your crash love i kept telling you no and had to sit on the toilet for you to chill kept telling you i'm not with that ish do your homework on me i don't get crushed for money only reason i ain't say nothing is because i was trying to work with mike and other influencers and didn't want to ruin anything and b has going on i just wanted my slide replaced i was never about the money the f is 500 dollars. that was for the slides you made me lose. You recorded that conversation because you thought I was gonna expose you, but I never did. I just wanted my slides replaced. Then she goes on to respond to how she drug perfect laughs and flow into it. She stated, stop trying to make it seem like Jazz and Flo was trying to cover ish up. If anything, they was trying to help me in the situation and make sure I got home straight and literally checked up on me and all. Y'all just be saying ish for y'all lame a little blogs. The ish don't got nothing to do with them. Post this on y'all lame a blogs. Them MFA stood on 10 that whole night and if anything got on bruh Hey, y'all on the word bad. Now here's my thing. If Jazz and Flo didn't have anything to do with the situation, why did she bring them into the situation in her original video that she posted on YouTube? But you guys leave your opinions on that down below. And I also want your opinions on this whole situation. Do you feel like she should have used the R word on Jay Slutty? Because even if he did try to make advances towards her, try to talk to her, did she use the proper terms for what he actually did? You guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below.